Conor McGregor has seen his fair share of ups and downs, but if there's one thing he's managed to keep constant, it's his body and fitness. The Notorious has always been in excellent shape, regardless of his weight class. Even these days, he's absolutely jacked, looking like a proper unit. So what's the secret diet behind his fitness? And when was he in his best shape? Keep watching, and we'll tell you all about it. First up, the best shape of his life. The Irishman looks exactly like a bodybuilder these days. It looks like he's really enjoying his time off from the game, just eating, training, and resting. And while this is probably the biggest he's ever been, it's not actually the best physique of his life. Believe it or not, his team thinks he was in the best shape of his life ahead of his second fight against Dustin Poirier at UFC 257. The Notorious spent a good time competing in the welterweight division before dropping to 155 pounds for his highly anticipated rematch against Dustin. And the fact that he was able to shed so much weight and still maintain his power and stamina is just crazy. Sure, he lost the fight, but if you watched him closely, he was super agile and loose. For a second, we even got a glimpse of the OG Connor at featherweight when he was just so loose and flexible, landing all sorts of insane kicks and strikes. Also, did you know Connor's diet was actually based on data? His dietitian would cater recipes according to his likings and body composition at that particular time. It wasn't just like, oh, you need protein, here's a piece of chicken, eat it. Next, so what did he eat to get so fit? Now, for the million dollar question, what did the Irishman eat to get in the best shape of his life? Well, before telling you exactly what he ate, don't be alarmed when you find out it wasn't anything special, like the bark of some sacred tree in Africa. It was just the regular stuff, but what made it so effective was that Connor was very dedicated and committed to becoming the fittest and strongest version of himself. His dietitian, Tristan Kennedy, told ESPN that Connor's diet mainly consisted of very lean sources of protein like fish, beef, eggs, salmon, and of course chicken. But this is where things get interesting. Tristan also made McGregor load up on good complex carbohydrates and micro elements like herbs, oregano, and basil. Like us, we're guessing you're also not a professional dietitian with a degree in food, nutrition, and health from the University College Dublin. So when we first heard stuff like basil and oregano make such a huge difference, we were completely blown away. Kennedy told ESPN that unlike most athletes, they never restricted Connor to just two or three foods, and instead they tried to get him nutrients from all foods. Still, we also have to consider how being filthy rich goes a long way in getting the best advice on nutrition and training. And unlike most UFC fighters, Connor is lucky enough to be able to afford the best of the best. Moving on, it's a science. Now, we're pretty sure you already know about the basics. You know, how eating more or less makes you lose weight depending on how much you're training or moving around. It's pretty simple at first, but when we heard Kennedy talking about how they go the extra mile to make sure McGregor has enough energy on fight day, we were blown away again. Tristan highlighted one main thing here, and for all of you looking to get in the best shape of your life, take it from him, it's all about the calories. But that's where the game actually starts. Since dropping from welterweight to lightweight is a huge ask, Connor didn't rush into things and cut down his calories all of a sudden. His team actually timed how much calories he'd have to drop gradually to prevent fatigue, muscle degeneration, and loss of power. So instead of cutting off his calories altogether, Kennedy and the team gradually lessened his food to make sure it didn't affect his performance while helping him become the fittest he'd ever been. Tristan and the team also made sure that his training routine matched with what he was eating. Like, if he had significantly dropped his calories on a particular day, they'd make sure his nutrition correlated with his workout. Now, for what Connor ate to become super fit. Honestly speaking, his meal plan looks less like a diet and more like a restaurant menu. But again, being rich goes a long way when it comes to taking care of how you feel and look. As soon as Connor wakes up, he has some oats with eggs with leafy green vegetables. All right, that's decent, nothing too extraordinary. The Irishman is allowed three snacks per day with every big meal, so that's basically a snack after breakfast, lunch, and dinner. His snack usually varies because, well, it's a snack. Connor either has a homemade McGregor Fast whey protein shake or McGregor Fast whey protein balls. And in case you don't know what McGregor Fast is, it's his own training and diet program, which allows users to train and eat just like the man himself. Back to his diet. For lunch and dinner, the Notorious has one portion of protein and one of the carbohydrates. We're guessing Kennedy was right about the whole keeping it simple part. Up next, what does the former welterweight champ eat? Since we just told you about the diet Connor likes to follow, it's only natural we talk about what the Nigerian nightmare likes to eat, right? At least that way it'll be easier to understand what exactly is so special about the Irishman's diet. Believe it or not, the differences in what two former champs eat are incredible. Unlike McGregor, Camaro likes to keep things very light and easy on the body. And by light and easy, we mean things like blueberries, apples, and blackberries. The Nigerian also loves pasta. And you'd think eating pasta isn't too good for a fighter, but there's a difference. Maru only prefers to eat pasta with red tomato sauce, since it's much easier for the body to absorb. Usman likes to keep things very simple. He doesn't try to load up on too much protein because he's naturally a very muscular guy. But he does enjoy a good omelet with peppers and spinach combined with toast and avocado. Now that we know how strict he is with what he puts inside his body, it's a bit easier to understand how he's managed to put away everyone in the division. Famous words of the 
former champion himself, so when I grab you, it feels like a gorilla just grabbed you. Following up with a heavyweight diet. Now, these were just some lightweights we were talking about. Wait till you hear about how the big boys like to eat. Now, Francis Ngannou is a massive guy. He's 6 foot 3 inches tall and weighs almost 120 kilograms. So what does the heavyweight champion eat to keep himself fit and active? Cameroonian giant eats more than 3,000 calories per day, consisting of proteins, fruits, almond milk, granola, and the occasional ice cream. The interesting thing about his diet is that he has a really unique snacking strategy. Instead of taking protein shakes or bars, the champ likes to load up on almonds, cashews, and pistachios. And since he spends much of his time in the heat of Las Vegas, he's very big on fruits like watermelons, cherries, and grapefruits. The majority of his calorie intake is usually beef, chicken, or fish, since he's pretty much like 80% muscle. And while the Cameroonian Hercules has his own chef cook up his favorite meals, he doesn't let anyone decide the portions. Well, that's understandable. We wouldn't want to tell a hungry Francis Ngannou how much he's allowed to eat either. Last but not least, the diet of an undefeated fighter. By now, you're probably familiar with what a UFC fighter needs to eat to stay fit and powerful. Some protein, a few healthy snacks, and carbohydrates. But what if we told you the undefeated Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov does the exact opposite? Instead of consuming bigger portions of protein, the Dagestani likes to load up on fruits and vegetables and only take protein and wheat in very small quantities. We're surprised how he's able to maintain all that strength while following a fairly green diet as compared to most UFC fighters. But hey, it's still a much better diet than light heavyweight Lyota Machida. In 2009, the Brazilian revealed that he has a secret component in his diet which gives him a lot of advantage over his opponents. Any guesses about what it might be? Urine. Yeah. Lyoto told a Brazilian fight magazine that he consumes his own urine to stay fit and also puts it on his hands to apparently toughen up the skin. We're not really sure what to make of that. Anyway, that's it from our side, folks. So what do you think? Do you agree Connor was in the best shape of his life right before UFC 257? And were you surprised to learn how simple his diet is? Let us know in the comments below. Remember, don't forget to like this video and and subscribe to our channel for more informative and original content in the future. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.